we get started. Before we get started, this is a tutorial. Don't be all anal and petty about the type of oil that I fucking use, the brand or whatever the fuck. It's a base tutorial on how to change oil. So don't be all petty and say I should use whatever fucking brand. Do your research, see what brand is best for you or what the fuck you want to do. But in that case, to the video. Bad money, somebody's still gonna talk some shit in this motherfucking comment section, but whatever. Well, man, Jaden Swag back with another video. Today we are, uh, we just did the uh, exhaust yesterday. So y'all should see that video up already. And all right, now I'm better do oil change because she needs to. It's been a while since I changed my oil. I don't think I changed it this year. So last time I changed it was when I got the B20 back from the shop, so it's long overdue. That was like fucking six months ago, bro. So, long overdue for oil change. Yeah, I'm gonna crank this up. I'm using a 530. Yeah. Got a new filter right here. So, got my gloves just in case I don't feel like any dirty. And uh, I'm actually gonna take this off. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna take that off. All right, so that's gonna let it flow out faster. So we're gonna take that off. Off to this draining. Okay, guys. So coming from the front bumper, come on down. So my friend, the oil pan. There's a bolt right here. I'm gonna take that bolt off. Some oil right there. Let's see where that's coming from. Looks like we need a new oil pan gasket. I can see it leaking on right there. So we're gonna have to get that in soon. And a boot. Axle boot. That shit's shit. So we're gonna get that. Uh, until the oil change. So the size it, it is is 17 mil. So go ahead and just. That's kind of clockwise. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Oh, look at my finger. Ah, shit. Should have worn them gloves. Yes, that shit fucking hurts, you guys. Fucking hurts. Fucking finger dog. Look at that shit. I brought those gloves out here for nothing. Oh, with the video. So you take this bolt out right here. Should come out pretty fast because we got the top open. Gonna let that drain, and I'm about to go do something about my finger. All right, guys, what does that? My finger. Yeah, put a bandaid on it. Yeah, hurt like a bitch. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go on with this video. I'm gonna just put a glove on now, so I don't get dirty. But too bad it can stop you from getting cut. So, take my advice. Wear fucking gloves. You know, just let it drain out pretty good. Wipe it up. Put a little bit of press on. Put the bolt back in. Let's go ahead and tighten it back. Yeah, she was, she was definitely due for an oil change, y'all. Definitely do. Let's see how black that stuff is. And it's pretty old, so. Hopefully my phone don't fucking drop. I right, so basically you wanna have the filter and Get your finger, rub some oil right here, and rub it around the uh, outside of this, like so. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got oil over the O-ring right here. Put it back in. Alright, so now that we put our 
drained our oil, we're gonna fill it up. It's the cone. Make sure we're checking this out to make sure our levels are good. This is a five gallon, 530. We're gonna pour it to about halfway, then I'm gonna start checking the uh, oil levels. So here we go. Now I use about two quarts right there, so I pour a little bit more. I'm gonna just be sure that's three quarts right there. So where's she at right now? Where's she at? All right, that's what three quarts get you right there. That's what we have left. I'm gonna show you the dipstick now. So we're pretty much there. I still gotta turn the car on and make sure it cycles through the whole engine as well as the oil filter and then we're going to recheck the oil and see where we're at and if we need more we're just going to top it off and then all right see this is why you turn your car on after you do it all right we see where my oil level is at right and look pull it out look where we're at now see that so that's why it's important to make sure you turn your car on and then check the oil level again and then uh, top it off from there. So we're going to top it off. Top it all off. Alright. Make sure you don't touch the header. <laughs> See? Now we're good. Exactly where we need to be. exactly where you need to be hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it's helped you if you never changed your oil on the integra before this should work for hondas too i'm pretty sure you know all same engines pretty much uh should be the same thing for all hondas uh majority of cars but this preferably for the integra 94 uh yeah i hope this helped y'all man she got some fresh oil because that bitch was in dire need that shit was hella dirty. Like I said, I ain't changed my oil like in six months. <laughs> if that. Probably more because we're in July now. So it's been a while. Like it's been a fucking long, oh, long overdue. So it should run a whole lot better now. Change your oil more often. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. JDM.swag, Tiffany Blue Integra, and Forever Photography. I'm out, y'all. Peace.